Alright guys, we are back, and as you can see, I've had a haircut, guys, um, that really needed to get sorted first, but, um, yeah, I'm back, guys, with my WWE Raw review for the 20th of the, um, 10th, 2014, I thought this last episode of Raw, um, was, I thought this last episode of Raw was a decent show, it wasn't the best show in the world, but I thought it was a decent show, I thought we had some, we have more, on this last one of the Raw, we have more segments on this last one of the Raw. They booked a few more matches, they announced a few more matches for Alan Stout. But, but this Go Home Show for Alan Stout was very boring. I think this Alan Stout Go Home Show wasn't the best Go Home Show for the WWE. And the WWE problem the last, this, uh, the last couple of years is, every time there's a pay-per-view, the WWE don't really put much emphasis or much energy into you guys, uh, us guys, buying the, you know, buying the pay-per-view, whatever pay-per-view it is. They don't really put much effort into it. They probably do Royal Rumble time and WrestleMania time and Survivor Series time and, say, even an Extreme Rules time, but apart from those times, you don't really feel interested as a, as a wrestling fan to buy the pay-per-views and basically, I'm I'm gonna watch on the cell. I'll, I'll try to watch on the cell on Sunday. Um, I am away this weekend. I am um, I am going in. Uh, I am going to see my uncle and my auntie this weekend. So uh, I'll be seeing those. I don't know if we'll be able to catch on the cell. I don't know if we'll be able to review it on Sunday night, but I'll review it on Monday. So stay tuned that. But Roman comes up this week with the authority coming out, and basically the authority talk about Triple H talks about how John Cena will face Randy Orton on Sunday. He says that uh, tonight is going to be uh, tonight's main event is going to be a street fight two on one handicap. Uh, uh, tonight's main event is going to be a two on three handicap match uh, street fight. It's going to be the Authority, Kane, Orton, and Rollins versus John Cena and Dean Ambrose. So that's your main event starting for tonight. Then Rollins says that he will beat uh, Dean Ambrose on Sunday, and he will get. Uh, and then he said he, uh, Rollins is going to beat. Um, Dean Ambrose on Sunday. Then Triple H says that whoever whoever wins the John Cena Randy Orton match on so will get a tough shot with Brock Lesnar. Um, I kind of think that I think Randy Orton will probably win this uh, match because I think the WWE is slowly going to turn him babyface, and that's a sad thing for me because I don't really like Randy Orton as a babyface. I think he really is a I think he should really he really suits better as a tweener in my opinion, where he's kind of fifty percent babyface. 50% heel because I don't really like him as a, fully ba a full baby face because him as a full baby face is very boring. I think if you have him as a tweener, it's a lot better because sometimes uh, uh, one one show can be a heel, one show can be a baby face. You know, it's a lot different. And also, one thing I do like what they're really doing right now with Randy Orton, they're having him as a blind character where he's hitting all kills out of nowhere, and I think that's great. But yeah, uh, Triple H says uh, that. Um, Whoever wins the Orton Cena match, they're going to touch it, as I said. Then Orton says that he's going to beat Triple H. Orton says that he's going to beat uh, John Cena and end, it, and end the rivalry with John Cena. Then he says that he's going to beat uh, Brock Lesnar and become the new champion again. Uh, I hope not, though. I think if Randy Orton did face Brock Lesnar, I hope. Uh, that will probably still survive this, but I don't want Randy Orton to become champion. I think he should go to a young guy, somebody like Seth Rollins or Dean Ambrose. Or a Roman Reigns, but that's my opinion. But not, I don't think that I don't want to see a Randy Orton, and I don't see another Tyrone from Randy Orton because uh, the last Tyrone he had this year, uh, we all remember it was kind of it was boring. So I don't really want to see that again. Uh, then we get, uh, oh yeah, then we get to a segment backstage where, oh, wait. oh yeah, definitely, I actually forgot about the first match tonight. I'm talking about. Uh, then we get to the first match tonight, which is um, the first match tonight is a six-man tag match. It was Sheamus and the Usos versus the Dust Brothers and Damian Miz there with Miz on commentary. This was a good, solid match here. You had a lot of high-flying moves here from the Usos. Um, the Usos dive on all the wrestlers like the Dust Brothers and um, Damian Miz style. Then at the end, you have Stardust who is, uh, hits a drop kick deep. He tries to go for, uh, tries to do, uh, hit a drop kick, but James hits him with a bro kick. Then uh, Damien Mizdow hits a roll, uh, rolls up James for the, uh, for the win, gets the win. So yes, Damien Sandow is off his losing streak. Thank God he has not won a match this year, and thank God. I, I mean, I'm shocked that Sandow won a match. 
Damien Sandow won a match. Breaking news, Damien Sandow won a match on Raw. Yes, you'll hear me right. Damien Sandow won a match. I, I was shocked, like, really? They've, for, a for a year, they've been jabbing him out. But, uh, I think they're doing something with, with, um, with, um, Sandow. This uh, whole Sandow miss thing is really working, I think. For Sandow, anyway. This is going to come in, so. Uh, anyway, and then we get to a segment, Randy Orton, tell, uh, Randy Orton tells Triple H he's going to beat John Cena, uh, and it's going to end the, the uh, what, what did he say? Randy Orton says that he's going to beat, uh, to, he's going to beat, uh, oh, he's going to beat uh, Cena this Sunday uh, and face Brock, same stuff he said earlier. Then Bray Wyatt, and then we see his Bray Wyatt video package where he, where he talks about Letting Luke Copper at Rolling Free and basically talks about letting um, him becoming a singles wrestler and stuff and talks about Sister Abigail. Um, I, I know a lot of people were thinking that um, the Ascension was going to join up with Bray Wyatt and start the new Wyatt family. I don't see that happening. I have heard that from other YouTubers. From, uh, from other YouTubers have said this, but I don't really believe this myself. I think they're going. I think this is going to be a thing where they're going to let Bray Wyatt. Um, they're going to test the walls with Bray Wyatt, see if he can get over, see if he can be a good wrestler, a good, see if he can have a good singles run as a, uh, as a, you know, singles guy and he's not held back by the other two. And in my opinion, I don't know where the other two are going to be, Harper and Rowan, I see Luke Harper being a mid-carder and I see Eric Rowan for getting jabbed out on NXT or something like that. But that's my opinion, but basically, I think Luke Harper potentially being in the main event scene, uh, Bray Wyatt really needs to build up back into the main event scene again. So uh, yeah. Uh, and then after that we get um, we get to the second match tonight, which was the second match tonight, which was AJ versus Alicia. Um, Alicia wins by uh, Paige distracting her because Alicia won with uh, the roll up. It was an alright match again. It was an alright match. And then uh, also it's going to be Paige versus AJ and on the south. Then we get a segment. Orton tells Rollins that. Uh, Orton tells Rollins to stay, uh, to stay out, of his, out of his way. Then Rollins, oh yeah, then Rollins says that. Uh, oh, what is it? Oh, no, I don't want to put that. Uh, then we get a promo from Orton. Orton talks about his feud with John Cena. He talks about how him and John Cena were part of the Russo Aggression era. Then he talks about uh, basically he's going to defeat John Cena. They faced off before, same old shit. Then. Um, uh, Paul Heyman, co and then Cena comes out. He says that uh, John, uh, Cena says that Orton hasn't been known since 2002. I thought that was a funny line. Uh, the fans are doing the shit out of both guys. Then John, and then Paul Heyman comes out and he says, uh, um, uh, uh, "Me and pa uh, me and Brock don't care who uh, who uh, wins the match on so You're both gonna get defeated anyway." And then he says that. Uh, uh, then. Um, Randy Orton, okay, it was John Cena because Randy was just is going to go for the AA on Heyman. Then John Cena gets RKO. Then Paul Heyman walk, tries to walk away. Then Orton says, After you, Paul. Then he like RKO's, and I like that. That was very good by Orton. Very funny. Uh, then we get to the third match chat, which is Rusev versus Big E. Uh, Rusev wins with a camel clutch. I thought this was a good, I thought this was a decent match. Uh, like I said, this match wasn't good. But Rusev went over, I thought this was an alright match. Um, after the match, Big Show like, pretends, he, uh, like, pretends he's pressing his, bu uh, presses his button and it has this like US, uh, like, this, uh, US flag on it. And after that, Rusev gets pissed off and he kicks uh, this US soldier. And then, before the match, I actually forgot that Lon did cut promo on, on the Big Show. So, uh, yeah. Uh, then we get, to, and then Ambrose gives Cena you know, pep talk. Then fourth match night, which was Brie versus Summer. Uh, Nikki's watching backstage. Brie wins with a crossbody. Decent match. Well, I didn't care about the match actually. Then we get to a segment where Ambrose is talking. Uh, then we get to a segment where Ambrose is talking to this doll. Uh, is talking to this like uh, doll of Seth Rollins, and basically he's he's saying how he's gonna rip him apart and stuff at Hell in a Cell. Then Ron says he's not afraid of Ambrose. Then Mick Foley comes out, which I thought was awesome. Mick Foley, like he always does, gets an awesome crowd reaction from the crowd, which is really good. Um, um, and then uh, Rollins puts down Mick Foley. Then Foley says, "Hold on a minute, I work my body off. 
I, I, I'm proud what I did in this business. I, I, I know it's, it was hard to be in Hell in a Cell. You guys have never been in Hell in a Cell, so you've experienced it. He talks about, he pulls over the shield, saying that there was a dominant force. Well, that was really nice. And that's the end of the segment, really. Then after the segment, Rollins, uh, 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 throws a doll to Rollins or something like that. I don't know. And then we get to the fifth match now, which is Cesaro vs. Dolph. Best match on the show. Well, second best match on the show. I think the main event was better than Cesaro vs. Dolph. But you guys have your opinions anyway. Cesaro and Dolph load it back and forth. Cesaro wins with the uppercut. Good match. Then we get to the sixth match now, which is a street fight. It was a uh, two on three handicap match street fight. It was the authority, Kane, Rollins, Orton versus Ambrose and Cena. They fight, they brawl at the beginning, then uh, it's like a normal tag match. Then we have uh, the, uh, Kane throws Cena into the table. Then John Cena, uh, Ambrose gets hot tag in from Cena. Cena gets hot tag from Ambrose. Then Kane um, tells, um, uh, Kane says, uh, Kane rolls the K. Kane tell, tells them, tells one of the crew member to lower the hat, the cell, so the so the cell door is, is uh you know, so yeah the cell the the hell in the cell sorry, and so they're all in hell in the cell, and basically uh, Ambrose uh, drop kicks the Rollins, then then you want our kills uh, Ambrose for the win after the match uh, Seth Rollins um, like curb stomps um, curb stomps and you want then after that. He basically just uh, stands on top of the cell and just uh, um, just celebrates after that, and that's how we ended Raw. So that guys is my WWE Raw review for the 20 for the 10th 2014. What did you guys think of this last episode of Raw? I thought, in my opinion, it was a decent show. It wasn't a bad show. I thought uh, I thought the Ambrose and Rollins segment with Foley was really great. I liked how Foley returned. The Cesaro Duff match was good. But I think the best match on the show was actually uh, the main event. I think the main event was really awesome. Awesome main event. An awesome Dolphin Cesaro match. The rest of the show was alright to filler and to decent. And so that's it guys. Hope you guys like this video. And thanks for watching guys. Brag out and leave a comment. Brag out.